but so be it. 0800 treble one 49 49. We want to hear from you tonight. Football heaven. BBC Radio Sheffield. But we're going to start with this because, Adam, you've experienced it. I've seen it on Twitter as well. The one thing that Sheffield Wednesday fans keep asking us for is they want to hear the commentary. We're all getting the messages on the tweet. Can we play the commentary? Can you? Can we relive everything that happened last night? So let's have a listen. Here it is. All you want is pride in your badge because they're representing you. If any Wednesday fans will listen to this, you go on Thursday or Friday, whenever your game is, and you get behind that badge, the badge you fell in love with, the badge that you, you would do anything for, and you get behind them and you never know. You never know because you've still got a possible 120 minutes to win that game. So never give in, never give up, never give in on your club, never turn your back, never ever say no, I've had enough, because it's your club and you should be proud. They have to score. Smith's penalty. He has scored. Sheffield Wednesday are back in the game. Wednesday one, Peter Brunel. Patterson shoots, ricocheted over the line. And the ball has gone in. And Lee Gregory pushes the ball past the goalkeeper who was stranded. They crave two quick goals. And goodness me, they've gone and got them. Wednesday build. James is through. Yes! And he scores. into the penalty area from the left-hand side and toe pokes a goal pass Will Norris still now scramble cleared away out to Bannon on it comes to Marvin Johnson he teases it Flint downward head yes! Yes! yes Sheffield Wednesday have equalised oh and it's club hero Liam Palmer who got there right on the line to knock the ball in it's simply unbelievable the impossible has happened Sheffield Wednesday have come from four goals down to equalise with seconds of normal time to go. And as things stand, we will go into extra time. Peter Bredo have a dangerous free kick well to the right of centre. It's bent into the box, glancing header and it's been turned in. And Peterborough United have stolen a lead as the header was sent home powerfully in the penalty area from Nathan Thompson, who may well prove a Wednesday heartbreaker. That is a mood killer in first half extra time at the end of the most extraordinary night. Can Wednesday respond from here? Palmer's pass is a good one. Brown. Brown across, here's the chance, second chance, yes! it's there! Wednesday it's at level again, what a night, the game of a decade, and Hillsborough celebrates once more, the promotion dream, Brian Laws is back on, Wednesday have scored another goal, it is 5-1 on the night. Only the most optimistic of Sheffield Wednesday supporters would have thought that a comeback of any magnitude to be possible this evening, but it's happened Wednesday, fans. It's absolutely happened. Wednesday entered this game with nothing more than hope of the most miraculous comeback as Norris skies the ball up the middle of the pitch. Yeah. And after 120 dramatic minutes, they've taken Peterborough United to penalties. Michael Smith will take the first penalty. Steps forward, right-footed, into the bottom yes. corner. Keeper guessed the right way, he went to his left, but Smith scores. It is Sheffield Wednesday 1, Peter Brunel. Cameron Dawson, can he be an early hero in this penalty shootout? Clark Harris! Oh! Oh, oh I thought he had and it. And it's gone in, and goalkeeper Cameron Dawson did dive to his right. It was the right way, he got the merest of hands to it, but the ball nestles into the bottom corner and it's 1-1. Wednesday's second penalty taken and straight down the middle and it's gone through the goalkeeper. It was Will Volks' spot kick. I'm not sure how it beat the goalkeeper, Will Norris. It seemed to be straight at it, but Wednesday fans won't care. It goes in and Sheffield Wednesday retake the lead 2-1. The Wednesday fans behind the goal wave everything they've got, the shirts, the scarves, everything above their heads to try and put Dan Butler off. The left fullback 
takes the latest penalty. Oh! Advantage. It's off the crossbar. Advantage Sheffield Wednesday in this most dramatic of penalty shootouts. Peterborough are the first to blink. Bannon steps forward to make it 3-1 to Sheffield Wednesday. The Wednesday captain, a left-footed penalty. Will Norris spreads his arms, pats the crossbar. Bannon to give Wednesday a healthy two-goal advantage. It's Barry Bannon, he yes. scores! The captain scores! He beats his chest, he calls for more noise from the cop. Talk about pressure now, 3-1. Peterborough have got to score. The cop end boos and cheers. Northern steps up and it's oh, up the legs of Dawson yummy. and it veers into the roof of the net and Northern scores that penalty. Windass to make it 4-2 for Wednesday. Steps forward. Yes. Scores just Windass scores. Beautiful. Wednesday have match point. Shamanga, the Chesterfield Loney, stutter step run up oh. and he fires the ball past a diving Cameron Dawson who pounced to his left so again picked right he just couldn't get there and Peterborough stay alive in this penalty shootout. Well an unlikely hero it would be if Sheffield Wednesday had to win this with a penalty from Jack Hunt. He puts the ball down, looks at the goal, fans from both sides can barely watch. The calmest man in the ground is Darren Moore, hands behind his back. Hunt to send Wednesday to Wembley. Yes! Legend here at Hillsborough. The fans invade the pitch. Incredible scenes. Wednesday have come from a four goal deficit to level. They came from behind again in extra time. And Jack Hunt's penalty has sent them to Wembley. They'll be talking about this game for years in these parts. The king of comebacks. It's a May miracle. And Wednesday, a one game away from promotion. What I'd say to them in the huddle was it could have been a lot of people's last game for Sheffield Wednesday tonight with contracts and things like that. Just give everything you've got and die on the pitch for the club. It's been a terrific season, but we don't want to go out on a whimper. Even if I, I was speaking about if they scored first, it don't matter. Just give your all and die on the pitch. And when you give that sort of commitment and you're all together and you all believe, nights like that happen. Outside of this football club, people wouldn't have believed it tonight. But within the club, I said to you all week, I'd been out in the community. Everybody that I saw that was a Wednesday night was absolutely phenomenal. Even this morning, I went for a walk on my own. Gentlemen in the car shouting, screaming at the top of the voice that we can do this Wednesday. Come on, Darren. And I just thought, yeah, we can. So it's been one big joint effort. So there was great belief tonight here. And it's great to see it turn out that way. So there we go. That was 